Do you enjoy reading a book that makes you think? Mary Krause is here from the Brown County Library with books that might have you asking yourself, what would I do? Hi, Mary. Hi. Thanks all right. for having me. Well, thanks for being here. Three Absolutely. books that you've picked out, all yes. thought-provoking. Absolutely. Great for book clubs. Mm -hmm. Excellent idea. Great for book clubs. Let's start right away with Picking Cotton. It's been on the bestseller list. Yes, it has. And it did come out about five years ago. So some people might have seen it back then, uh, but it still applies today. Uh, Jennifer was a college student in the 80s. Um, she was raped one evening. She saw her attacker. Um, she picked Ron Cotton out of the lineup. She studied his face. Yes, she did. While this was happening yep. to her. He didn't, the attacker didn't bother to cover up his facial features at all. Um, she picked Ron Cotton out. He went to jail for 11 years for this, for to prison. And um, it turns out his DNA was not the DNA of her attacker. So he was exonerated. Um, and These are real people. Yes, true story. True story. Uh, he, they met up later, several years after he was out of jail, and they became friends after a period of time. And they now go on speaking tours together, talking about uh, eyewitness testimony and how it's not always reliable. And and why did you pick picking cotton? What what, what is it about the story that? It's very much about forgiveness. While I was reading it, I was thinking, you know. If I were her, would I be able to forgive myself for putting him away, right. even though I thought it was him? Would I be able to forgive him because I thought it was him, I thought it was his face? Uh, is that something I would be able to do? I don't know if I would be able to do yeah. that. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, let's move on to the next one, yeah. um, A Deadly Wandering. This yeah. one, you say you think about all the time. I thought about it every day since I read the book. It's about texting and driving. A landmark case in Utah, Reggie Shaw was driving down the road, decided to text and drive. Um, two rocket scientists were killed in the accident, um, the three car accident that happened because he decided to text and drive and went over the line. Um, the case against him is interspersed with the book along with an amazing amount of research about how texting and driving is not safe and how deadly it can be. and. Um, the research is very easy to understand. It's relatable within the mm -hmm. book. It, it flows really well. So I've thought about that every day when I'm on the road. That will be then. a good one for book club discussions. You can yes. imagine the discussion would just go on and on. And finally, um, Singular Intimacies. Yes. Uh, this is a book uh, by Danielle Ofri. So uh, this is a medical memoir. She did her residency at Bellevue Hospital and it's about some of the positive and negative situations that happened uh, while she was in her residency program, some of the controversial decisions that were made. Um, one of the things that kept coming back to me was, at what cost do you prolong a human life? Oh, that's thought provoking. Yeah. That one sounds interesting to me because I like medical stories. Of course. And, and this is what really happens in, in kind of an urban setting. Mm -hmm. Very Absolutely. interesting. All three of these titles you can find at the Brown County Library. We'll put the list on our website, fox11online.com. Click on Good Day Wisconsin. Thanks, Mary. Thank you.